Let's look in more details at one reservation card. When creating reservations, first we have to enter agency name. To see all agencies, we should click on this icon. By double click, we can select any from the list. Or if we click on a pencil sign, we can see agency details for the selected records. Then we have voucher number, guest check-in and check-out dates and time, lengths of stay and days, and if requested, late check-out time can be seen from this card. Here we define the room type. When we click on magnifying glass symbol here, we can see the availability of this room type for the design reservation. For example, during this period we have 14 and after this day 15 rooms available. If desired, we can see the availability for all room types. We just have to change the settings in this way. From this part, we see the number of rooms. One reservation can consist of several rooms. In this case, we will increase this number. Board type, nationality, adults and number of children and their ages are also displayed. When creating the reservation, at the same time we can block the room. In this way, we list the available rooms according to the reservation's check-in and check-out date. By double-clicking on desired room or clicking on this button, we can assign the room to this reservation. One reservation may have different sold and assigned room type. This shows that this reservation is downgrade or upgrade. From here, bed type and guest VIP status can be selected. Repeat guest information are automatically displayed after entering guest information on the left. Number of repeat visits will be automatically displayed here and it cannot be changed. Accommodation type can also be selected such as sold, comp, house use and similar. One reservations can be connected to the sales project or it can be divided on different folio types. For example, daily use, share, walk out, no shore, or on trip. If we want to use one reservation as virtual folio, this can be arranged by simply clicking on this setting here. If we want to enter more details about the reservation, we should fill out some of the fields shown in this part. Guests requests made during online reservation is automatically displayed here. In the same way, guests email address and phone number is automatically displayed on this screen. If there is a special note that we want to see during check-in, we should write it down at this part. The same can be defined for checkout message from this field. Reservation market, source or segments are defined in this field. Since these informations are defined in agency card, these will automatically be displayed in here. If desired, these can be changed during reservation. Who will pay for the accommodation will be chosen from this screen. If agency is paying for it, guest folio will be opened in extra window. If the payment will be handled by guest, then folio will be opened in all window. In addition, if here we select guest, agency name will appear in red. Reservation payment type. Any one of these can be chosen. This part shows the reservation status and cannot be manually changed. This part will automatically change as this record transits between the lists. If we want to display this reservation in different color in room calendar, from here we can change the color settings. In case there is a payment made from online channels for this reservation, this payment information will be displayed here. Reservation ID is reservation's unique number. Almost every detail in reservation card can be changed, but this one cannot. If reservation has any trace, it is displayed here. If this reservation is the shared one and has the shared number, it will be shown in this part.